Hello everyone and welcome to this new lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed the YouTube video which kind of give you an overview of the actual five top five level services. So let's get started with the Amazon recognition. So Amazon recognition allows for video and image analysis by detecting objects, people, text and scenes. Amazon recognition does not require any machine learning expertise, which is amazing. And as you guys can see, and as you guys watched before in the previous video, that you can simply feed it in, you know, like let's say images of people like that, and it should draw a bounding box around, let's say, the face, for example. Or you can feed it in image like that, for example, and it can tell you, okay, this is a chair, this is a handbag, this is a mouse, this is a cup, bowl, bottle, and so on. So it can perform object detection because it has been able to locate the object so actually by drawing a bounding box you can locate the actual basically the object where the object is in the image and it can tell you as well as well the class so it can tell you this is a cup this is a laptop and so on and it can provide you as well with a confidence score which is how confident it is basically um, within that specific class how confident the neural network is when it gives that prediction so it is based on advanced deep learning technology that learns every day as more data becomes available. Simply upload a video or image to Amazon S3 and analyze it using Amazon recognition, pretty straightforward, and it could be used to provide facial recognition, facial analysis, celebrity recognition. So for example, you can upload, let's say, an image of Jeff Bezos, for example, and you know, it can detect Jeff Bezos right away. And you can upload whatever image. I actually tried to test it, you know, with the, my own image and it didn't recognize anything yet. <laughs> and if you try, let's say, face comparison, you can do it. Text detection in image as well. You can do that too. Facial recognition performance depends on lighting and resolution. So you have to be careful with that. And video streaming comes from Kinesis video streams. And it can be, it has to be encoded at 5 or 30 frames per second. All right. So what about the features? So first, it's an easy integration. So there is only a very easy and simple API, improving performance every day. So it's actually like the performance of Amazon recognition is becoming better and better every day. So it's learning and growing and becoming better as more data becomes readily available. There is no management or hassle. So Amazon recognition can support millions of requests with requests with minimum latency, which is again, pretty incredible. There is real-time performance, so can, it can work in real-time with can, Kinesis video streams. So you can actually uh, set up Kinesis video streams, and we covered that before in, in previous lectures, is that once you have Kinesis video streams set up, you can basically like ingest video from, let's say, a camera, for example, on your, let's say, you know, as a setup on your home, or, you know, to, to check out on your pet, for example. And then you can perform what we call batch mode to analyze millions of images. So you can perform object detection, you know, like you can do whatever you want based on that. And that's again a prime example of a system that could be built by integrating Amazon Kinesis video streams along with uh, StageMaker as well, Amazon Recognition to, to kind of build an entire system for object detection. Low cost, so only paper images and videos time and video time along with storage. So obviously zero upfront cost in the beginning. All right, what about the, again, the features? So first you can use it for object detection and scene understanding. So object and scene recognition beside activity detection, such as cat drinking milk, you could be able to do that. Facial recognition, so you can feed in a series of images to perform facial recognition. Facial analysis, you can obtain information about your face, such as age, level of happiness and facial hair, again, pretty incredible. Pathing, so Amazon recognition can capture the path of objects in a given image. So you can, for example, have an athlete movement in a field to perform post-game analysis. So you can actually, if you have, let's say, if you're watching a specific game, you can actually detect the path of different object within the scene, which is incredible. Unsafe content identification, so you can detect inappropriate or hazard content Celebrity recognition, you can recognize faces of celebrities. And text and images, Amazon recognition can detect text from images, such as street names and license plates as well. All right, so as you guys recall in the YouTube video, again, here, that's what basically uh, Amazon recognition look like, pretty straightforward. You feed it in an image like that, and it can tell you that this is a city, town, building, there's urban, metropolitan, high rise, and so on. 
you can feed it an image like that to do facial analysis so it can actually tell you okay these are the three faces the network has detected and it can tell you that this face looks like a face appears to be male age range smiling or not appears to be happy wearing glasses or not eyes open or not and so on and i actually uploaded my image as well and it can tell you it looks like a face you know appears to be male age range 23 to 35 which is pretty accurate and they're smiling yes appears to be happy i hope you know not wearing glasses true and so on again pretty amazing and i hope you guys have watched the video already where you actually saw this in action all right okay and that's all what i have for amazon recognition i hope you guys enjoyed this lecture and we are gonna cover amazon comprehend in the next lecture so please stay tuned and please enjoy aws machine learning certification course and i will see you guys in the next lecture